for Christmas, I feel like it was always about just us being together. So more than anything, I wanted to make this album. It's full of so much love and so much heart. Um, Ms. Underwood, congratulations on this album. Uh, uh, Christmas music is a staple of our home and, you know, so many other people's homes. So it's been a great listen these last couple of weeks, uh, listening to My Gift. Um, you were out on the road most of last year. So tell us a little bit about how My Gift came about. What made you want to do your first Christmas record? Well, I feel like in in my world, we're always trying to think uh, 20 steps ahead. Um, so I remember talking about last year, you know, wanting to do a Christmas album for 2020. And um, after the the tour wrapped um, in, in the end of October, um, we started thinking, what are our next steps? You know, let's, let's, let's get going. No time to waste. And um, fortunately had a lot of the groundwork laid before 2020 became what it became. <laughs> and um, after that, it was all about figuring out how to, um, how to keep moving forward and how to keep making this album. I, I did not want to get, uh, get sidetracked or derailed because I feel like, you know, as the year progressed, these songs and these feelings and um, the hope and the joy uh, that is Christmas um, is needed now more than ever. So um, it ended up being such a blessing for me to get to go to the studio, um, you know, in the summer and uh, and and get to sing these songs that um, you can't be sad or upset when when you're singing these songs so it, it really was my gift my own personal gift um to get to sing these songs um the album's a mixture of you know traditional songs uh, inspirational christian based songs as well as some of your own uh originals on here how i mean there's there's a multitude of christmas and holiday music you can choose from how did you decide what to put on the record well, I did want the majority of it to be uh, more traditional Christmas songs, um, but definitely wanted to throw in some fun things in there as well. Um, because Christmas is so many things, you know, for, for us, you know, we do celebrate the birth of Christ and that's very important for us, but you know, the lights and the trees and Santa and, and all of those fun, cheery feelings, that's all a part of it too, which is I, I what I think makes Christmas so special and so magical, um, is it is so many things to so many people. Um, so I kind of wanted a little bit of all that and, and we sat down and, um, tried to write some songs to see if we could add to that. Uh, but I always said at the end of the day, the great thing is even if we don't write any songs that we like, there's so many amazing Christmas songs to choose from. And, and also at the end of the day, I was like, I can always record more later if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Albums are the, the gift that keeps on giving, you know, you can keep recording, you can make another one, you can add to the one you have. And um, I, I love the fact that there were no, no rules to, uh, to making a Christmas album. Uh, your son makes a cameo on Little Drummer Boy. Who's, whose idea was that? His or yours? It was mine. Um, I, I recorded the whole song myself uh, in the studio, and I felt like as I was singing it, I could just see his little face. I could hear his little voice in my head. Um, he loves to sing. He loves music. Um, so I, I kind of threw it out to my people. And uh, I was like, I have a crazy idea. It's probably not going to work. I, I was trying to set the bar real low. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if he'll cooperate. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but what if he came in and sang with me like a, a proper duet? Um, so I kind of, I asked him, he seemed excited about it. We kind of sang it here and there for about a week. I didn't want it to feel like work or something I was making him do. Um, but he came into the studio and he just sang his little heart out. He did such a great job and um, exceeded any expectations I could have, I could have had for him um, for, you know, for the project. I knew he would have fun and um, it would be a, a really cool day if we, even if we couldn't use the recording. Um, but he did such a great job. Definitely, definitely. Um, were you conscious of, you know, Christmas music? It, it's in everybody's homes and it becomes part of their traditions for, for years, for decades, really. Um, and were you kind of conscious of that, you know, being, being part of people's uh, memories, I guess, and holiday memories forever, really? 
Yeah. And, and when we were, you know, talking about what this album was going to be, when I was talking to my, my producer, Greg Wells, who is from Peterborough, by the way, <laughs> I feel like I have talked about that. That was kind of one of the things that um, that really like drew me to him. Ultimately, we were talking about producers and um, I started looking up Greg Wells's uh, all of his accomplishments and things he's been a part of. And I was like, he is from Peterborough, which is where my husband is from. I feel like this is meant to be. Let's make this happen. That was kind of the final like yes i want to work with this guy um the nicest guy but when i was talking to him about what this album should be i was like i just want those i want that warm hug you know i want i want the thing that i grew up listening to that you know meant so much to me i want it to sound timeless um i do want these songs you know in 10 years you'd be like oh my gosh i remember that or i i grew up with that i want people to be able to say that someday um, so that's kind of what we were trying to keep in mind when we were making it. We just wanted it to feel um, timeless and traditional in a lot of ways. Um, this year, you also released a book, Find Your Path, and a fitness app as well. What made you want to go down those avenues and, and sort of encourage your fans in, in that regard? Well, it's definitely a huge part of my life. Um, I, I make my health a priority because I feel like that is my foundation and everything that I get to do after that is made better by that. My mental health, my physical health, I help, feel like that helps me sing. It helps me, you know, relieve stress. Um, so that's kind of just become a, a part of my life. I've been able to work with companies in the past that worked in the health and fitness space. Um, we have uh, my line of apparel at Dick's Sporting Goods here in America um, called Kalia. Um, but it, it, it was just such a, a natural progression and um, ended up just writing what I know and what I've, I've experienced in Find Your Path. And then through that came the app um, because we, we had this workout that was outlined in the book and it was like, how do we make this accessible to everybody? Um, so started working on that, having no idea that 2020, a lot of people would be needing to uh, find ways to keep up their physical fitness at home because they couldn't go to gyms. Um, but yeah, so it, it was just one of those things that, you know, was kind of an extension of my my life and what I do anyway in my own in my own life. Might as well talk about it. Um, 2020 was a difficult year for a lot of people. Uh, what was your silver lining this year? Uh, I mean, I guess you were living with Christmas all year long, but what was your sort of takeaway and silver lining this year? Well, that definitely was a silver lining, um, you know, getting to go in and just sing these songs. It was just, it was very special, um, like I was saying. Uh, but another one was actually getting to be in in one place and um, be, uh, be able to spend, you know, a ton of time with my boys. Um, I, I feel like we're always go, 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 and I'm always traveling. And a lot of times if the travel's too much or the schedule's too hard, you know, I'll end up leaving them at home, um, you know, and, and that's, that's always very difficult. And you think about all the things that you're missing and I love my job so much. Um, but this year that was the silver lining, just getting to be home and be in one place and watch them grow and, um, like really get to know them and, uh, just spend, spend time. I feel like my, my five-year-old, especially, um, I don't feel like he'll ever forget, you know, this year and how much, uh, he just got to be with mom and dad. Um, 15 years since you won American Idol, which is crazy. Time has flown so fast. I'm sure it's flown fast for you as well. Uh, looking back on that, uh, you know, what was that time in your life like? And did you ever have doubts of even, of even proceeding and doing, uh, taking part in that competition? I imagine you must have been really nervous and scared and all of those things. Yeah, I mean, it was such a, it's the kind of thing that um, 
somebody like me just wouldn't do. You know, I, I feel like I'm a careful person. I'm a thinker. I'm a planner. And to just go put yourself out on TV in front of, you know, millions of people, um, that that was just that was very big for me. Um, but to to take that chance, I mean, obviously, it's it's one of the the best things that ever happened in my life. And it was a course changer for my life. You know, I did have my plans over here. And then I went and, and tried out for American Idol. And it was just so it was a crazy time. It was an exciting time, um, you know, and, and I feel like I, I did a pretty good job of saying, OK, I just want to learn everything I can learn. And um, I got so lucky to just get to work with some of the best people, a lot of whom I still work with today. Um, it, it was just a, a great experience. And I definitely wouldn't be here without that. 